Hello, everyone. Welcome to another episode of Game Informer's Test Chamber. I am Andrew Reiner. Today we are playing Dangerous Golf. Actually, that's going to be Matthew Cotto taking his swings here. Hello, sir. How you doing? Good. How's it going? Good. So what do we got here? We got uh, a world tour. Yeah, that's, you know, as it, as it says, it's basically your career mode, which is also replicated in co-op real world tour which is pretty cool so this is for you know like couch co-op which is great oh wow can yeah. you do an online co-op too or just couch uh just couch and then you know you go into the online clubhouse here you can you know look for a game same with party golf that's also on the couch so you can set up like a playlist of your favorite holes and everybody run through it so that's cool it's cool you know to see a game have you know couch co-op again and this is developed by Three Fields Entertainment it's out now today on Xbox One PS4 and PC Kato, why don't you take us into the game here, and as you're doing so, let's talk about Three Fields a little bit. They have some development chops, but not in golf necessarily. No, I mean, if if the gameplay you're going to see here is reminiscent of Burnout, well, that's there's very good reason for that. The, some of the team behind it is uh, responsible for Burnout, like um, you know Alex Ward and Fiona Sperry. They, those are the people who created... Uh, burnout back, way back at Criterion, so that was obviously Boy, a little ways ago. What kind of party is this? Cupcakes? Cupcake? Yeah, so this is an English man. This Poison is about wine. halfway through the game here. So this little flyby is always kind of helpful because it shows you, you know, of course, some of the things that get to knock over, and uh, also kind of where the flag is and stuff. So you can have a little strategy there, and, and we'll go we'll go over that again here. So these are some of this is like a basic sort of game mode in the sense that you have a smash breaker and you have a target. So in this case, the target will be. Um, you know, these cakes and the skeletons, right? So we'll just tee off here so and I'll show you the smash breaker. Point of the game is rack up as much destruction as you can with a golf ball and still try to get a birdie or par, correct? Well, it's not like a birdie or par. You only have so many shots anyway, but you basically just want to score enough points and knock enough stuff over. There we go. That's a nice little collateral damage there. And it all tallies up, which is always very good. So this is the smash breaker. It's in, you know, almost all the holes. And this is where it really gets fun. So... We get to go down, we can aim, let's see. A lot of times you wanna look around and see what the best aim is. Okay, so let's go back up here. And now I'm controlling this a little <laughs> bit. There's a little bit of gas and, and brake. So I wanna go around and as you can see down in the bottom left, that's kind of my smash breaker. So I gotta keep an eye on wow, that. Wow, it's the sun. So I, again, I wanna speed up and slow down a little bit. So let's see if we can get back on top of this table here. Oh, wait, oh! oh! There was a little, uh, pepper box in there which gave me an instant smash break because so that sets this off. Can you get that bear head? Ah, I want to get the bear. I think if you get the bear, oh. he, uh, you hear a little sound here. Let's see if I can get back to the bear. All right, take so that chicken I'm giving wings. it a little gas to get get the physics up a little bit. There we go. I didn't hear a sound. He just fell. Let's see if we can get the deer here. Let's see if we can get, bounce back and get the deer. I don't know, man. You're running out of bounce. I'm running out of bounce here. Okay, I want to get back on the table because the hole... Oh, no! The hole in this case is actually... So now I get to my basically my third thing, which is just a putt. Okay. So the hole is actually in the middle of that table. And if you hit Y here, it'll give you a little bit of a hint. Oh, interesting. So I'm on the ground. So you think, well, how am I going to... It's not like it's the holes, you know, on the ground also. So how am I going to get up there? And this is where the pistol putt comes in. The so what? This pistol is the pistol putt? putt, like a little laser putt in here. So let's see if we can bank it off here and back onto the table. Oh, that didn't oh do I it. Didn't, didn't do it. So in a lot of these cases, you want to do the trick shot. So you don't want to just go right to the hole. You want to kind oh, of okay. send it around and, and to get it in. So you aren't actually playing golf. It is. You just had three shots. That's it. Yeah. There's some variations sometimes where there's like a putting challenge where you just you'll try to put into a lot of different holes and bank it off and stuff. But yeah, you're not like doing par or anything. OK. And we're going to jump ahead real quick to another hole. Tell me about the world tour a little bit. It looks like it's just kind of little levels that you go into. Well, it's like four locations, you know, like England, Australia, France, U.S. But within those, you'll have different settings. Um, you know, there's a gas station, I think, in Australia. This is the U.S., which has this kitchen as well as like a bathroom. So it's, you know, you will visit some of these sort of stages, but you also see some new ones, even though it might be like in the same kitchen. So, and when you what? come back, so this one, multi flag, is pretty cool because. Basically, there'll be an end flag, but before then, you're going to want to shoot it into like a platinum flag or like a silver flag to get more points. What's so, going on in the dishwasher, by the way? It looks like a here, gnat storm. Here, we'll see. So let's tee off here. Again, those are those smash pepper boxes. So if I go into those, I'll get an instant smash breaker. So I want to save those probably until I actually eat them. So let's... So how does co-op work in this? So co-op would be like, I would do this hole 
And then, you know, so I'd go all the way, I'd sink the putt. And then after that, you would do the same hole, but it would have the same level of destruction that I just did. So there's the bronze flag. So that, that and the silver flag appeared. Oh, I ended up up here. It's too bad you can't have two balls going at once. Yeah, so it's like you kind of, you get to do your own hole, but you also sort of finish what the other person started. So here, let's see if we can get, well, let's get these plates first, but then let's get into those washers here. <laughs> oh, there's, there's a box, there's a pepper box. So I've got an instant smash breaker. Or we can go into here. Oh, Is okay. that a pepper box down there? Oh, Is that pepper? Fart. Oh, pepper? I got another pepper. All right, here we go. Let's see if we can get it in there. Oh, fart. Do you watch Last Man on Earth? That's just my own thing, just for my son, you know. Just <laughs> okay. <laughs> just that is what uh, Will Forte always says on Last Man on Earth. Oh, so, get the urinals. Yeah, so we just transported down here into the ur into the bathroom. And there's another pepper box up there. So I'm going to steer it. over there. we go. All right. I'm going to go over here. Let's bust up some toilets. Is everything pretty much uh, destructible? For the most part, it does pretty good. Like, you can smash through these walls That's here. Cool. Every once in a while, you find something that maybe... <gasps> You can you you know you could or couldn't smash up, but I think it's it's pretty consistent. You get a good handle for well, it. Well, that's happening. Where's your ball, man? My ball is wow. I'm stuck somewhere in the. Oh, uh, well, there we go. What okay. Just happened. You break the game. I no. I'm like stuck behind this toilet, but that's fine though. <laughs> and here's why. <laughs> so I check the flag. So that's actually a flag right in front of me. So I want to go into this one. This is not the end flag. This is just like a points flag. So let's get in there. Can we put that on a T-shirt, by the way? I'm stuck behind a toilet. That's fine though. Okay, it looks like it ricocheted off, so I missed. So, so basically, you know, I would go into those different flags, and then you'd want to get to the end flag, which would then level. So, I mean, as you can imagine, you know, you're going to spend all kinds of time, you know, finding some good routes, you know, finding some surprises. Yeah. There's definitely, you know, plenty of surprises. There's a thing called the secret sauce, which is hidden in every level, and that's like What's a little, uh, like a little gold ketchup bottle. You knock that over for you know, for a bonus. So there's all kinds of things you're going to look around and find in here. All right, we're not going to stop until we make a putt. Let's move on to another hole. All right, Kato, where are we now? It looks like a store. Yeah, well, this is a uh, store in a gas station in Australia. Now, the gas station's got other parts of the level. You'll look at the rooftop and the outside with the gas pumps and stuff. But as you can see, there's a lot of stuff to destroy here. So this mm. is a good place to be. Now, the cool thing about this one is that, as you can see, it's got bombs. <gasps> And what those are is is they basically are sticky bombs that plant around the level. So when you do your first, as you do your sort of shots, you're going to plant a bomb. Yeah, so take that mayonnaise. So question for you. There was a TV up there. Yeah. Uh, is there a different value attached to each thing? Like is the TV worth more than that mayonnaise that you blew up? Yeah, and a lot of times some of those unique items, they'll you know get you extra bonuses if you get like two of them or whatnot. So let's go to another surface here. So what are you shooting out there? So now I've shot myself across the room. Now, as you can see over it's on the left. said bomb planted. Yeah, <gasps> I, there's the, uh, there's the first it. bomb. So I want to go and I want to sort of make my way. Let's get, get the that TV. TV. Let's yeah. get that TV. SD TV, give me a break. Yeah. Sha. Oh. So the thing is, when that bomb goes off, that it's TV's gonna send going that thing with Yeah, so let's see if we can go. It's a safe there. What about that mortar sign? This one right there? Yeah. Let's get that. Mm-hmm. That looks okay, valuable. so we got one left. And we're, let's maybe go down here. We haven't been down here. So again, I want to plant it where when it explodes, it'll cause the most damage. Okay, so now we're going to get... Let's so you're see. going for a putt? Yeah, let's just yeah, go into the hole there. What is that? Oh, hell of a shot! Go, Matthew Cotto sticks it in. What is that? What was that it looks, font? It's a little extra bonus. Extra bonus. Yeah, I don't know. So here, so now we're going to see all the destruction of all the bombs we planted and, of course, reap the beautiful rewards. Yeah, eat it, TV. <sighs> well, the sign was already destroyed, but still, look cool. <laughs> Oh, well, we found the secret sauce. So, yeah, in every level, there's a little uh, secret sauce canister, and we got it. And you sunk it. And let's see. So you're not going to get the any kind of negative marks, right? Just no, all yeah. pure profit. Nothing but, yeah, you probably should have put one somewhere along those walls. All right, man, you put that one there, but I could have come back, put something on that wall. Obviously, there's a lot of different options, a lot of strategy. You're going to be replaying these holes a lot to try to, you know, not only get a high score for yourself, but beat your friends. So you Let's know. see what you got. Did you get a medal? Silver, Silver, not bad. Yeah. Could have. Been, I, I want to say off air when I was playing this before. I think I got a platinum. So Ooh, just to put that out okay, there. Okay, all right. You're not going to be topping your record. 
Uh, so that is Dangerous Golf. Again, it is out now. Kato's actually in the middle of his review, but what's the early takeaway here? Uh, I'm having a lot of fun with it. You know, I think one of the key things is that, as you can see, the ball's bouncing around a lot and stuff, but it does. A, it's a good balance between, like, you know, what you expect and what you don't expect. So, I mean, bouncing the ball around and stuff, it'll take you all kinds of places, and the levels are just great. So it's it's a lot of fun. More for destruction enthusiasts than golf enthusiasts, right? Absolutely, unless you've got, like, golf rage or something, <laughs> you know. Constantly breaking golf clubs and don't actually want to play the real game anymore. Here yeah, you go. yeah. You don't have to throw your clubs into the into the pond anymore. All right. Thanks much, Kato. Thank you, Leo Vader, for putting this together, and we'll see you all again in another Test Chamber.